up chat we got myself nathan and alex uh commenting on this one or commentating sorry um looks like we got will on fi and we have i unfortunately do not know the name of the other elliot name. bicker elliot bicker nice uh he is playing bravo um historically this has been a um i wouldn't say extremely favored on either end i would say when when fi was first played uh it was considered bravo favored by a long shot but as the fives uh got a lot better in their deck building and play i think uh i think it got um i think it got to 50 50 or maybe even a little five favored uh if they have a sink below or two in their in their deck depending on the situation yep that should sound about correct doesn't usually take much more than about one sink below for Fi to win the game if it's timed correctly. Uh, Robin needs to keep the tempo, keep the pressure the whole game. Uh, the yep. second they second they usually have one of those hands that ends up being like a hammer swing or something. Sometimes the game can just be over. Um, but if they are able to keep the tempo up, keep the pressure on, get the armor pretty early, uh, the game can swing in the Bravo's favor very heavily, very quickly. Yep, I think. Uh... Much like the Oldham matchup for Fi, it's a it's a game of um, windows of opportunity, right? So, like you said, if he has one of those infamous uh, all blue Bravo hands that doesn't present any relevant on hit effect, um, Fi is going to basically just take full advantage of it and push as much damage in that window. And the Bravo player is hopefully going to close as many of those windows as possible. Absolutely. Also, fun fun fact: um, the Bravo generally wants to go first in this matchup. Uh, in my in my opinion, um, being able to set up something like uh, it's pretty inconspicuous, but the Bravo still plays cards like Showtime and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, being able to set up like a pulverize or something can really start the game in your favor, which is what they really really need. Um, and generally, Fi's first hand is not going to be uh, extremely threatening. But um, the Dominate also comes into effect, too. So there's just lots of things Bravo can do on their first hand. Yeah, it almost seems like as long as the Bravo doesn't have, like, just a, a booty of a hand, right? Like, yeah. Bravo's kind of okay with either one. So, like, first, obviously, you can Dominate, do some funny stuff. But even if you go second, like, starting with a Spinal with, like, no Dominate and getting a good Arsenal card is, like, pretty good as well. Starting right. with that tempo. Absolutely. So here we uh we have Will starting at infinite life with no with no life counter. So hopefully <laughs> they will realize that when he first takes damage. All right. Looks, it looks like Will's probably setting up to go first. Yeah, first turn like Bravo plays is like very straightforward. Um, I, I would imagine if the Bravo player was going first, we would have already seen some cards. Um, but there is an argument for Fi. Like, there's a very good chance that you can push some damage because of the awkward numbers. Yep. Uh, and still be able to arsenal, but we'll see. Most likely, we're just going to see a lot of standard plays here. Attack for three, attack for three, attack for three, attack for one. Something like that. Um, two red snatches in the opening hand, though. Uh, that, good thing you went first. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That would not have been a good one. Playing a sink below. Let me think that he might have either not so good of a hand, uh, or he just doesn't expect uh, doesn't expect Will to play anything else after this. Blade. Oh yeah, I mean, if if he plays anything else, he's given up the arsenal, and then also it gives Bravo a third filter. Yep. Um, and he's starting with tempo, so D react is the last thing he wants. So three card filter, very good chance we'll see a a spinal or or something of that nature here, something relevant, maybe a crush the weak. Yep. yep. There's the spinal. Yep. There's so the this spinal. this is a good start for Bravo, especially if that is a relevant arsenal target if it's not it gets kind of sketchy like that's the one thing that i hated about playing bravo over oldham is you have to really mind what you put in arsenal absolutely absolutely 
especially when you're playing a deck like Fi, who you're going to be blocking mm -hmm. a lot against. Yep. Um, a lot of Bravo's game plan, uh, if he's played this matchup much, um, some some people can kind of get you know trapped in the feeling that like oh I need to take some damage to get this out of my hand, but really the only time you're really taking damage to get something out of your hand is when that damage is going to give you all the tempo back. Uh, they yep. generally wait for something that's much much more powerful, like a spinal dominated with a pummel or a command and conquer pummel, crippling crush, you know these things. What I'm really looking for from Will here is I really want to see some discipline here and kind of give up two, three blocks and present, you know, around seven damage or so and, you know, kind of stay disciplined and not um, not use the armor this early unless he just, you know, if you got the art of war and everything, then then you get you got to go, you know? Right. That can be frustrating from the Bravo's point of view as well as if your opponent actually knows how to block efficiently, it makes a world of difference. <laughs> Uh, yeah. you, you kind of you kind of feel like your opponent's life total is just never dwindling. Now I could be mistaken, but isn't Mask of the Pouncing Lynx considered? Um, Oof. the, the go-to mask. Uh, in this matchup, I much prefer Pouncing Lynx. Uh, that's that's five, what I was as thinking. As a five player, yeah, because um, I have played this matchup many many times from the Bravo standpoint. Uh, the mask momentum is much easier to deal with just because we block so efficiently already and you just put something in front of the third attack and go on with your day. Does Will have a life counter that we just can't see? Uh, yeah, it's it's at the it's at the bottom. I was gonna ask before I did it if y'all if y'all want me to go oh, in and like and, and drag it on. Yeah, it's off the table. Yeah, drag it onto the table, please. Yeah, I mean I would I would have to I would have to go I would have to go into a different um or put it, it put it put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. So can you put your life total on the board? I make everything difficult. I got you. One second. We're just gonna do it for him. Put that bit right, y'all. Yeah. Oh, that that's that's over the turn. But yeah, that just means now he knows. <laughs> now he knows. So it looks That's like the... what happened there is we had a spinal that hit dealt six damage, but I think Will had an all red hand, mm -hmm. so he opted to just take six damage to present a command and conquer, which required him to pitch two red cards. Mm -hmm. uh, not the most efficient of exchanges for sure. Um, he did have a lava burst that he ended up pitching, which I might have leaned towards just kind of a full block and wait um, to preserve life total if you're just presenting a command and conquer, but. Um, these turn cycles, he just needs to get, he just needs to get the Bravo player off of these cards that are going to be causing him lots of issues. Um, Spinal Crush. Uh, are they playing Choke Slam anymore? Do we know? Uh, card, cards like Choke Slam and Crush the Week. Yeah, I mean, t I know they should be running Crush the Week, but Choke Slam is it's iffy. I mean, it 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 depends on what the Bravo, but I mean. I don't know with red debilitate right like, that's a funny you, one yeah one's got to drop right you can't run three spinal three crippling three cnc three yeah. debilitate three crush yeah. the week three yeah like something's got to give so he definitely chopped crush the week or choke slam but judging from his pitch having blue crush the week he probably chopped uh choke slam it was debilitate I actually i believe i ran one or two copies of debilitate when i was running bravo um, it acts as kind of a semi. Um, no, this is the minus two one. Never mind. I ran the one that puts the card on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, disable. Um, disable. The red disable. Yeah, the red red debilitate. I've not worked with. I mean, it's a three for ten, or in that case, it was a two for ten. So it it's definitely not bad, but it, Absolutely. it just really depends. Um, I think in this matchup specifically, it actually gains a little bit of value, but. Yep, so we're going to belittle all day, and this first one, however, is only coming in for one damage. So I would say as long... I mean, I would say Will's in a pretty rough spot right now. Absolutely. Um, it's not looking good, and, and that's kind of the reason why you need that Pouncing links is like that's how you really like even it up. Whereas here, like... 
there's no chance you're getting a mass trigger. Like, there's no way. With all that armor and everything blocking theory, I just don't see a scenario where where you're getting a mass trigger at all. Absolutely. And also, there's kind of a, a life total threshold that Phi needs to keep. Like, if you can keep the life totals close as Phi, you're, you're advantaged. Um, but if Bravo has this kind of like 13 point buffer that he has right now, he could simply just kind of block and wait for another good turn. Um, wait for you to have a turn where you only present, you know, 8, 10 damage, something like that. Just take it and, and take all the tempo back. Pummel is a heck of a card. Okay, so Will played a blue minnow, right? I believe this so. This is coming in for four? Yeah, I believe so. Did he reveal and search another one? I didn't see. Uh, I did not either. He revealed a spreading flames and searched another one. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm expecting probably a spreading flames into a sword swing into a phoenix flame and maybe something else on the end. There is enough pitch for it, so it seems like a pretty decent line here. So we'll see the three here. We'll see the three on... This one's going to be mask trigger, right? Uh, oh no, he broke no. he broke the chain with the minnow. Never mind. Correct, correct. So, yeah. and uh, the sword swing will also not do mass trigger because that's the attack action, which is very convenient for Bravo because now on the Phoenix Flame he can just throw the legs in yep. and call it a day. Now with the belittle having does um does Tiger Stripe read base power? Yes. The belittle so the, came the, in for one, so that that won't trigger the tiger stripe on the phoenix flame, right? Because it, it's base power, and the the way yeah. that we know that is it affects lo uh, lava burst, right? If it said otherwise, it would never trigger on lava burst, right? <clears throat> Bravo deciding how he wants to block this. Hopefully, he remembers that this one doesn't trigger the mask. Um, I, I mean, this seems like a, a pretty safe block because it means he can ignore this Phoenix Flame for one. Yep. And then also, like, there's no guarantee that there's an attack coming here, which this is fine, too. He can just block one card and throw in the uh, the Iron Rot, which he would have had to done anyway on the Phoenix Flame if he took the Sword Swing. So, um, I don't think it's a bad block by any means. Um, obviously, seeing the snatch, it's like, oh, yeah, definitely should have um, taken... Okay, so the Bravo does have a red threat here, obviously, if he's given up the armor, yep. uh, which is bad news for Will. So we'll see what it is. Probably a spinal, not too much. I mean, it could be, if he has the crippling in Arsenal, it could be. Terra Sunder Hammer is pretty good. Terra Sunder Hammer is going to get some armor. Um, it really depends, right? Because if you think about this, right? Kel, Kel's gonna Kel's gonna get on to me for sharing this, but if if you look at the math <laughs> of like the seven Terra Sunder, right? If there's any situation that he has a blue and a head jab, he just takes the seven and then presents seven back, and you're actually nine times out of ten better on the um on the damage cycle because you, like discarding two cards that you choose is way different than all the other on hits that bravo has yep um so this believe it or not is actually one of the least scariest um because if like i said if if will has a blue and a head jab he can head jab sword swing phoenix flame all for seven damage on two cards Right. which is super efficient and threatens the mass trigger on the Phoenix Flame um, while still getting hit from the Terra Sunder. And he can save... Because, like, if you give the armor here, you only have a four-card hand, right? Like, you're not... Um... Okay, he's picking the... Okay. Interesting. Okay. Right. Carding. Well, there's the head jab, and he's not going to arsenal blue, so... 
I guess he didn't have the play that I was mentioning, or because he's definitely not going to Arsenal the blue. So either has a zero for four or something he's going to put in the Arsenal. Okay, well another head job. Okay, he just ended up with another all red hand, all red hand again. We'll see in that. So rise from the ashes, if if I'm not mistaken, blocks for two, correct? It does. So he blocked two, but he could have just double head jabbed, which is one more better rate. Yep. So slight inefficiency there. Um, should have the Bravo at 27 and will it at, um, or sorry, should Bravo should be at 25 and will at 19, which is slightly better. Here comes the first red pummel of the game. Yep. Uh, it's on a buckling blow, which isn't bad right doesn't it just okay that's pretty bad yep um it's gonna hurt yeah that that what that does like that, a lot of people might look at that and it's like oh it's just two armor right well it's oh, a he, lot it's a lot more yeah. than that <laughs> he got a whole like, card out of his hand and two block on the armor which the two block is representing a further crush effect yep. which is what you're trying to get with the first attacks anyway mm -hmm. so and it basically Definitely. represents Will can only afford to basically have one window, right? So if if the Bravo can present a crippling crush, right? Will only has one out to that. Like he can't, um, and he has to give everything now because the furnace lost uh, the two block. Yep. Yeah. If he uh, if he gets crippling crush dominated at any point, the only way he's blocking it is losing every last piece of his armor. And a three block out of his hand. Unless he has, unless he's able to find a sink below. But being down seven life with no arsenal and Bravo having a five card hand, this is pretty, uh, it's pretty scary. I'm assuming he dominated this. If he didn't, then that's just another pummel coming. <laughs> This is a yikes here. Yep, this is uh, one of those windows, <laughs> and it's uh, it, it's super unfortunate. This is the hundred percent the correct. Well, Locking so the way 11. that I, I would I would have played it is I would have kept one card, and what that does is it basically says, "Look, you're gonna give me that pummel now, or you're gonna give me a good arsenal target." Um, right. And it kind of for because obviously that was a pummel, right? Yep. Now you're kind of in the same window where, unfortunately, you're at a life total where Pummel is an immense threat right now. Mm -hmm. So you just have another Pummel, or the same Pummel, but uh, now it's on an effect that you, you actually can't stop. Because it's dominated, so you're only going to be able to put one card in front. Even if you put all the armor in, I don't believe he can get up to a, uh, a spot where he can actually have go again here. But yeah, three blues into crippling, three blues into spinal is exactly the cycle you want to be in. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is a six box. And give me the pummel. He obliges. That's 13, seven over. Put wheel to six on a two card hand. With no go again. And only two armor block left. But it's not over yet, because unfortunately, uh, Bravo does suffer from hammer for six syndrome. So that, that's a fact. And that seems like it's probably Will's only out here, uh, is he needs this hand to just be a complete brick. Um... And even, okay, so it's obviously not a complete break if he's taken third. Yeah. So now that that's settled. <laughs> this game might be over. Oh, he drew uh, another pummel. Okay, yeah, he did. Because he didn't dominate it, so that's the giveaway. Um, yep. Pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and let my guy know. One won't be going on too much longer. Yeah, let him let him know. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, for the five player, I think any any five player, um, this is one of those games where you just have to chalk it up to like there was nothing you really could do. Am I right? Um, if his opponent actually has the pummel here, then that is an absolute fact. Yeah. There's just not much you could do. There's a few inefficiencies I think Will could have capitalized on and done a little bit better, but um but yeah, this there's not much not much to do here. You know, yeah, I mean his opponent drew triple red pummel, so but at least Will had the sink below here. This is good. Yeah. So Bravo is not out of the weeds yet now that the pummel is um as he takes three goes uh, to three. Now that his three pummels are gone. Yeah, but at three you're just like a dominate away from just being dead. Yep. Unfortunately. It's not gonna what, be easy. Yeah, dominate eight basically just takes you out. Unless you got another sink, then So obviously, the best play Fi can do in a situation like this is is uh, have a blue in his hand, but um, still attacking for six. If uh, well, no, Bravo is blocking with a red card. Hmm. Might have a heavier red hand here, but nope, he's got the dominate. Oh, he just had the better of the two red cards, ready to go. That's a dominate for I believe eight. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Will able to cover up six of it here and go to one. He's got a three-card hand to attack him back with. If he can present 10 to 12 damage and his opponent doesn't draw a dominated attack, then he can get back into this. But... I was going to say, it basically had to be head jab, blue, and lava burst to have a to have a shot. Because the Bravo's got yeah. so much armor still left over. Like, yep. it... Like I don't see, I don't see yeah. any way out of this. Yeah, if he's blocking with armor right here, the game should be over. Yeah. And then Bravo dominates for the game. <clears throat> should be. Most likely. Yep, there it is. Looks like a dominate to me. Oh, oh with a with crater, the fist, crater fist. That's disrespectful. That's just disrespectful. Nah. Nah, go for the full finesse. Let's see it. I oh, love you it. got to. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that game went about it's about how we described if the Bravo has a certain amount of tempo, then it's just really hard for the fight to get back into the game. But... Thank you.